Hello everyone, this is Inglorious P back from another video today. And today we'll discuss the Portland Trailblazers and which sports cards to in, uh, to invest in on the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, before I begin, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know below what you guys think. Um, I'm almost done. This has been uh, a lot longer than I thought, but it's been nice because I get to analyze each team and kind of see, you know, their sports cards, which players I think are overpriced, underpriced, things to look for etc. So the Portland Trailblazers um, are an interesting team. They are a lot like some of the other teams I've discussed and I'll get into that in a minute but they got knocked out in the playoffs in the bubble um, kind of disappointingly because um, this team always seems to fall short right. They have Damian Lillard you know he's a meme he's awesome I mean he's came from nowhere right now he's a top I would say he's a top 15 player for sure I mean he's he's someone that every team would want he's a hard worker competitor in his prime he's 30 years old um, so with they're really just one guy short and I think that they are trying with the trade for Robert Covington which I would not invest in a sports card they're trying to they think that they've got it and I think they're a star away they need another guy They've been in links with Kevin Love for years now. I think that he would be um, a great fit. I think that would put them over the top. But until then, this team is just short. So um, Damian Lillard, his rookie card base is about $920. Um, and I think it has a lot of room to grow. Um, it's a little higher than Chris Paul, who I discussed in the last video, who's 900 um, So 920 it's not that big a difference. But... I think he has a lot more room to grow. If he ever wins a championship, his card, I think, would spike to 2000 maybe, at its peak. Um, I think it's a pretty good buy. I just think that he's kind of built out as high as he'll really go. I think he'll go up gradually, but if you're spending $920 on, on a card, truly, I would rather invest it in the stock market, get my dividends, my long-term growth that way. Um, I just I just don't like the thought of it, but you know I I, I think it's a good buy. I mean, if, if you wanted him, um, if they ever win a championship again, it'll spike up like crazy. But I think he's built in a lot of his price. You're a little late to the game for him. A lot late to the game for him, really. CJ McCollum is one hundred seventy dollars for his PSA ten base, and I think that one is a interesting buy. Again, though, he's older. He's built out his thing. Although he could be the third best player on a championship team for sure I have no doubt um, there's no knock on him I don't know why his card is so cheap I was actually very surprised to see that um, maybe because Lillard takes all the the shine from him um, so I really wouldn't buy him you know I think when he retires if you PC him just wait till he retires pick up some of his cards then it'll drop then like crazy um, Carmelo Anthony 250 for his rookie he's definitely a Hall of Famer in my mind um, and so 250 though for a Hall of Famer, that's not bad. Um, it could have some long-term growth, especially the day they announce he'll be a Hall of Famer. And people remember all the times he carried Denver and New York. And now that he's in Portland and the bouncing around from Houston and the Thunder. And uh, 250 seems like a good deal, especially if you're PCing him. It'll probably go down a little more, especially as he gets washed up. But then the day that they announce that he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, it'll spike back up. Um, to a reasonable level so just watch his card in the background don't buy it now but watch it because it's, it's actually a really cool card if you if you've ever seen his rookie card before um i saw on white side i couldn't really find a price on him so no don't buy into him he's washed he had a couple really good years but portland bought in on him and uh it doesn't look like it's paying out very much again robert covington uh, nurkic and, and nurkic don't uh really have good prices you know if you have them I'd sell them now get your money unless you PC them they're not going to change they're not going to get any better really just a shame because I really thought Nurkic could have been what Jokic is um, or you know maybe not as good but you know a more respectable I mean I shouldn't even say respectable center but like a more star center than he is um, he's kind of underperformed now as far as the young guys guys that you might develop might make a lot more room to grow there's two. There's Nasir Little and Anthony Simmons. Um, and, uh, Nasir Little's silver is PSA 10 is 100 bucks. Um, 
The problem with him, I think, I mean, he can develop into a great three-point shooter potentially, but he's, at this point, we can kind of tell he's not going to be, you know, a star. Um, he's not going to be a guy that teams build franchises around. He'll be a role player probably. So I would kind of, if you have it, sell it, get your money. Because as these rookies, as they, as people see them play and they go down more and more, right, they kind of fade off and then you're stuck with nothing. So get your money on them. Uh, it's pretty safe to say it's a good sell. Um, you know, it's kind of sad because I think he got hyped up a lot more than he really is or, you know, should have been. And uh, Anthony Simmons is 60 bucks for his base. Now, to me, that's interesting um, because if you watch his workouts and he's training and he was a high school stud, and a lot of people knew him coming out of high school, getting trained with Lillard, um, you know, kind of that same forgotten about type of player, he's in a great environment. And I think, especially if you can get like his raw cards and just sit on them, you know, make sure they're very well protected. Sit on them and, and just see what happens. Because, I mean, it's a cheap pickup. I think that he's got a future maybe here. Maybe they're going to end up having to trade him in the future if he gets really good. But I like him. I, I don't. I think those guys that are really good in high school, they some, I mean, obviously they don't all pan out. And they obviously don't. Yeah, some of them obviously do great. But I, I just... I wouldn't give up on him yet. I don't know why he's so cheap. Maybe because he's playing behind the Blazers and people forget about him. So just keep an eye on that. Um, besides that, the the Blazers are, I would say they're very similar to the Suns um, and the Sixers. Um, they're just a guy away, right? If they get an Oladipo, a Kevin Love, a Giannis, um, and the Heat too, if they get one of those guys... Now you're in the now we're talking. Okay, can you beat the Warriors? Can you beat the Lakers? Can you beat you know the Celtics? Until that point, I, I'm not touching the Blazers. I, I really am not. Maybe Anthony. I'll probably pick up a bunch of his um, cheap raw cards because um, I like the way he plays. I've watched a lot of him in his highlights, but I, I just I think that unless Lillard wins a uh, title, you're kind of stuck with him too. I mean, I. I I don't see him really going up more. I mean, considering Chris Paul's kind of not the same career, but it's that same kind of like no championship but great seasons, awesome moments. And Chris Paul's even more well known, um, less of a pop count, and his tops Chrome is only nine hundred bucks. So I, I I I think Lillard is a great flip. I will say that I think Lillard, especially when he drops 50 opening night and or you know carries this team and they're doing really good in the regular season and sell them right before the playoffs. You know, if you have the money, flip Lillard. Yeah, yeah, you'll double your money easy, maybe. But just wait on him. Uh, if you're going for long term, Lillard and McCullum are not the plays. Carmelo, watch for him to keep dropping when he reaches a bottom. I'll let y'all know and we'll buy him up. When he gets announced for the Hall of Fame, we make our money. We cash out. Um, this year, little, no. And uh, Anthony Simmons is the one player I'd say on this team to just watch. Will he ever be anything great? Probably not. But if you could buy a bunch of his cheap raws, especially if he's in like dollar bins or people just want to add him in on trades or whatever, that's a good buy. So I appreciate y'all watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know below what you guys think. Um, you know, people. Maybe I missed a player. Maybe you agree, disagree. Um, I'm excited for the draft tonight. I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's an exciting time. I mean, the draft it always adds, you know, fun moments and it adds, you know, makes your like favorite teams. You're like, man, what are they doing? You know, it adds a real excitement. So this is the time now. You got you got to pay attention. The cards you have already. What cards are you buying? You know, what are the things that ESPN's putting out there? And can we make moves? that are not the popular move to make some money. Because once it's out there and it's popular, it's too late. So I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I hope y'all watch some of the other videos, and uh, have a good day. I'll see y'all.